Okay, uh, I'm glad I'm able to make no one do it. Um, yes, yes, I do finally have my, uh, my photos of the mind map, which are just popping up here. Um, what can I say about it? It's got a couple of stuff which I'm obviously going to be looking at. It's got sci-fi, it's got cyborgs or prosthetics, it's got the plasma and science. It's You can see it right there. It shows what I'm going to be doing. And because of the way I've set it up, um, much like the the way these... It's supposed to be an atomic structure. It's supposed to be very sciencey, of course, and it's supposed to look like it came up much earlier in the project. Fortunately, I didn't get to that as soon as it's supposed to because I was getting to other things as soon as it wasn't supposed to. Um, but um, the way I linked it up is every two um, subjects opposite to each other are, of course, linked by what would be a diagram of its or uh, orbit around the uh, neutron or whatever it is in the middle of the atom. So I think it was sci-fi to uh, cyborgs, prosthetics, uh, then there would be plasma weapons to gun laws, and there was something else I can't remember because it's not in front of me but it's on the screen. So it's literally in front of me, but only you can see it. Imagine paper, but it's single-sided. Um, on the sides, on one side, I made it look like it was a monitor or a screen. And it just says uh, stuff on it. I think it was uh, a, just, just a story of... I've got two sides. One side's a monitor, the other side is like a dot matrix uh, print or fax coming out. And I'll show them in the right order because I can't remember which is which. But one of them is take some ideas and what if I were to progress it further than it already is right now. And the other one is um, how I'm going to be using the I'll ha I'll be tell you what hang on it's on my phone I can do it right now why didn't I get this up before I started okay so put in the password still putting it in because it's way too long okay so right here gallery and sorry it's taking a while but it's right here okay so on one side we've got the uh, little monitor screen thing it says using common examples of combat cyborgs and media I'd like to make my own with real science so use science that already exists to make a more interesting and more accurate uh, version of that in some way. So with cyborgs I'll be looking at actual prosthetics and whatnot, exoskeletons. I'll also talk a little bit more about that uh, in a moment as regards to the New York trip. So the other one says since all fiction is based on real world science or history in brackets in some form or another I want to take that further by developing existing technology which kind of sound you know now that I say it out loud it pretty much says the exact opposite of what I've just said and that is take science fiction and make it just science by using real science and then there's this one which is take science and make it more advanced as in turn science into science fiction. I have created a paradox. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm going to ignore that like it's never happens. Oh, um, so I'm going to go back to the 
the main front bit. So, what was it? It was human augmentation and prosthetics, weapons and gun laws, sci fi and plasma. So, those were the six relating bits of research I want to look at. Also, I've named this project the Breakthrough. Unfortunately, you cannot see the writing I put underneath the Breakthrough. What it was supposed to say is something about using the, t the expression the breakthrough in the traditional uh, sense. So it's a breakthrough, it's a discovery. And the other one is a slightly more literal sense, which is it's breaking through. So scientific advancement and using that advancement to destroy other advancements. You know, just building a super tank. It's revolutionary, yet it'll kill us all. It's, you see what I'm going through. The breakthrough. Um, Alright, not much else to say about that. Unfortunately, I've also been doing lots of um, new drawings recently. I've actually started doing designs. I have not finished my research, which I'm going to be doing here at home, as well as try and fit in the time to um, do that New York uh, trip edit so as soon as, I'm going to try and focus a little bit more on that because I don't want to leave it too long because it's a big project so I'll see if I can get that done as soon as possible and stick that out on the net and then I'll be using my camera again excuse me um And then after that, what am I looking at? Oh, it's a map. All right. Okay. Um. So, I did some drawings. I am going to scan them and stick them on screen. But I'll do that a bit later on the account of I've done drawings recently just for the person. I've not done any sciencey drawings, ish. Uh, I've mainly just been designing a character because if I'm going to make a cyborg, I need a person. So, I'll talk more about that, but I've been doing some designs of some characters, and particularly two out of the many that I designed because my tutors really liked those two in particular. And I've also been doing, um, aside to that, some actual cyborg design drawings using stuff uh, that already exists, just pictures of other prosthetics and exoskeletons and the like. And I've even got a stage by stage process down, which I'm going to show in the next blog. Actually, I'll do that in the next blog. I'll do that. I'll finish off my drawings uh, tomorrow because I'm at home. I'm going to be doing editing, and I'll show that off. Um, meanwhile, it's coming up to the dates that I'm going to be going to Angry Ruskin to uh, do my uni interview, and I've got to get some stuff ready for showing off, so I'm going to talk to my tutors about that, but I am going to do what I was originally going to plan, and that is rework some of my older stuff as video game uh, assets, so maps or characters that sort of thing and then from there hopefully they like that um, I'll be printing it out oh speaking of printing out mood boards for this project I've got some Pinterest boards on some stuff that I did in the past I've got a cyborg uh, Pinterest board which I can do screenshots of and maybe wrap it around a um I'll, I'll do something similar to what i did with the mind map it kind of looks good kind of looks terrible but i plan to do other things uh, not just more atomic structures um oh was as i was at new york i did call up those uh, prosthetic places i got a nice big list um 
Only two places really got back to me. Ish. The first one was prosthetics in motion, which just gave me um, a, an email address because apparently they had no openings. So I've sent them something already twice, once using their website, second using the email they sent me because I have two different ways of contacting them in the same email way. And the other one was going to be Estian, which I'm not sure what it means. It probably means someone's last name or something like that. Um, but they wanted me to call back. I did call back. They would not get back to me. Uh, this was back in New York. But, uh, All right, I'll, I'll finish this uh, the mirror. Um, uh, yeah, they, they didn't get back to me. I had to finish. You know, I, I couldn't do it. So I couldn't get any interviews, which really sucked. But at least I did get you know, an email, so I'll get that. Also picked up... Um, a comic book of Cyborg, you know, the DC hero, and I'm going to, I've already read all the way through it in my spare time at the end of each day whilst I was in New York, and I'm going to pick out part of it that I could use and scan that. So that's about it. Be back in two days.